This crow was brought into the centre after being found in a larsen trap. Whilst these traps are still legal in the UK, this bird had not been fed and the right wing had been clipped, both of which are illegal and against animal welfare laws. The clipping had caused massive damage and 14 flight feathers were missing. As a full molt only happens once a year in most corvids, letting the feathers regrow naturally would mean a lengthy stay at the hospital and months of unnecessary stress. An imping procedure where feathers are transplanted from a donor wing would mean the crow could be released in just a few days and the improvised feathers would fall out naturally during the next molt. OK, let's go for it. As it is vital to maintain the shape and size of the wing, the missing section was carefully measured before the donor feather was cut to size. Using a special epoxy, a wooden skewer was glued into the remaining shaft before the donor feather was secured in place. This would ensure stability whilst being completely biodegradable once molted. Number one. Once this was successfully put in place, the same process had to be repeated for the other 13 feathers. With the new feathers in place, it was just a matter of time until it could return to the wild. just a few days, the crow had made massive improvements and was soon able to take flight once more. With a clean bill of health, it was time for it to be released, but not before taking a small piece of me with it. Ow! That's really not friendly. That really, really hurts. I lost my concentration for a moment, didn't I? Are you going to let go? Are you going to let go? I'm not happy. I got it. It's mine. <laughs> Right, one crow, got a very lucky second chance. Go on, go on, come on fella, hey, go on. It's flying incredibly well. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.